Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, your action figure aficionado and video game enthusiast. Or video game enthusiast and action feature figure aficionado. Either way, I think you know exactly what I mean. This is another episode of Collectibles in My Closet. And today we have the brand new now at this point i don't know what wave is this but the brand new seven inch scale mcfarlane adult collectible fortnite beast mode rhino and beast mode jackal now i have no clue who these guys are and what the skins are you know uh origins are about but as we all know, I am a video game centric channel, so I love to do figures and collectibles based off video games. Now, not necessarily it will appeal to everybody because I'm really considered Fortnite kind of a market more for like a teenage market or new age gamers. But nonetheless, these figures that Fortnite has been producing, producing along with Jazzware are really really nice figures and they I think in my personal opinion are packing a big punch of quality and of content for the price that we're paying I picked these two brothers up in GameStop this is where I found them I don't know if they're out there in the wild in abundance but I guess you should start looking because they should be showing up very soon and the first thing you'll notice that I kind of notice is these two guys are kind of like the Scorpion and Sub-Zero of Fortnite or even the Cyrax and the Smoke or, you know, uh, the other blue uh, robotic ninja from Mortal Kombat, I think four or five. That's what they look like, you know, the motif and what they're robots kind of. And they look goofy, but they're still fun. And that's what it's all about. So let's take a quick look at the packaging uh, within or without, as you see. Fortnite in the top, 22 points of articulation. Box window opening, as you can see, I still have the Fortnite stand that it comes with in the back there. And boom, boom, just really fast. Beast Mode Rhino, Epic Games. Then you have in the side, obviously, the profile of... Beast Mode Rhino in the game with the Fortnite logo and the Epic in the back. On the top is the same in the corner. You have his head, McFarlane. Toys in the top, the logo, Rhino, you know, Fortnite Beast Mode Rhino. And then another, uh, you know, depiction of him there with Fortnite. And as you can see, his oh, half, almost all his whole body in the form of depiction of the figure in the game. So, we move to the back. Fortnite Epic, the two newest in this wave, which is obviously Beast Mode Rhino and Beast Mode, Mode Jackal. 22 points of moving parts. McFarlane, seven inch action figures. All the crossover sale for other figures that recently came out. You know, like Dire, Havoc. Well, Dire is this one. Ice. The Ice uh, King uh, Tracker, I think it is, or Rector, Inferno, Peely, of course, you know, and some of the accessories that you have, like the gliders. So, let's get, keep it moving, get right into it. That's what it, it looks like out of packaging. As you can see, I put him there, exposed, out of packaging, and then we'll move on to what they look like in packaging. So... As you can see, window box. Bam, bam, bam. Looking really nice and snug because these bring kind of a lot more pieces to them. Not necessarily accessories or weapons, but pieces that combine the figure as a whole. Fortnite, and here is Beast Mode Jackal. There we go. Epic. On the top, Beast Mode Jackal laughing. And for Harlan Toys, Beast Mode the name Fortnite is the game. Fortnite on the side, Epic Games. Obviously, wow, a nice uh, portrait there of Beast Mode in this side. And then on this side, another portrait of Beast Mode 
really nice on this side with 4 9 in the top based off what he looks like in the polygon form in the game back same thing cross sale 22 moving parts Fortnite the cross sale here with other existing figures 7 inch action figure a, dip, a glider pick of the accessory and that's pretty much it it's a continuing uh, setup with the packaging nothing new nothing's changed you know for the all the mint on card collectors it should be a great feeling because uh, you know it keeps consistency and as you see his is like a light baby blue and his is like that orange yellowy color that we've seen before with other figures so let's get right into it let's check out beast mode rhinos accessories here we go guys the f accessories for beast mode rhino so let's get right into it number one pow he has his backpack now his backpack as you can see there right let's see ladies and gentlemen his backpack as you can see there's very well painted pick that up please it's very well painted now i gotta edit that out no screw it i'm leaving it in there his backpack oh man it's not okay there we go it's very well painted with nice blues navy blues and you see and silver like a silver chrome this backpack looks almost, if I had to take a get, what it looks like is an engine, a motor, a motor engine. I don't know if it's for a bike or, or for a car, but it's very creative. They get really creative with these accessories in the Fortnite universe. It's really, really cool looking and really nicely painted. Pretty clean for the most part. And his Harvester, which is really a ice pick, but they call them Harvester because they're all different in the game, is also... This looks to be like one of these metal pieces that they use for construction or to use for something in, when you fix cars. Uh, it looks very familiar, but I forgot what it what it's called. With the handle and then more motor engines, blowers in the back like exhaust pipes. With the blue in the bottom, nice silver, gray metal, gunmetal black with the, as you see, the glitter in there. Then you have the red handle. Going down, this looks like shocks of a car in the brakes, which is, like I said, a nice touch. Very creative. The handle there, and then in the bottom, um, this looks like a car piston, if I'm not mistaken. Or it might even be, hey, that's cool. I know it's something, it looks like a car piston or one of those, those things that you put in. I forget what it's called. Uh, and then he has these two pipes that you connect to his back, which are exhaust pipes that connect to his backpack that are part of the figure scope, like, in the back, but they came separate, I guess, for sake of not breaking them. And then he has this super-duper rocket launcher, four-way rocket launcher, done in a nice military green with all this gouache and coloring on it as... Highlights of red, highlight of burgundy, highlight of silver, silver, you know, chrome. In here, silver chrome. Black on the handle here, black on the scope, black on the actual external pipes where you put in the missiles, and then the green here. Really nicely done. And then even some browns in, in the top for wear and tear. I mean, this is really, really well done. It's really well done. It looks nice. I like it. Really, really like it. There you go. Now let's get into Beast Mode. Beast Mode himself, Mr. Beast Mode Jackal. Oh, well, no, not Jackal. Beast Mode Rhino. <laughs> That's what it is. Beast Mode Rhino. Oof. It's not... Come on. And here we go. And as always, I also failed to mention that he also came, as you know, with the Fortnite figure stand, as you see. Like always, the same traditional round, you know, stand with the two pegs. And here is Beast Mode Rhino. And, uh, you know, obviously, he's going to look 
kind of kooky for some. And, you know, it's just the design. Now, you see how he has all this plated in blue. And this is all in, like, uh, parts that it looks like it's supposed to be rusted, I guess. And it's, like, in a rust color. Almost looks burgundy. This is, like, a champagne red. The smiley face with the two eyes looking like a young rhino. He has this little antenna here, which is really, really cool, as you can see there. Let's see if I can. There you go. And here's his backpack. Number 29 with the decos coming down the side of the gauntlet and on the pad of his gloves, as you can see there, you see. It even has the nice black with a sheen to it to indicate that those are the straps that hold the padding of the shoulder and the arm gauntlet. 29 on that side as well. I think they're different. No, it's the same now. Same way. The bolts here in silver. More, you know, rusty look. Uh, another, uh, what you call it, pouch in that navy blue motif with some... Markings of like, you know, wear, wear and tear in leather. Same thing like here on this side. Then obviously his pants are black going down. With the shin gauntlets here on his leg. In a, in a nice gunmetal silver. With the rusting look. And even here it has the black satiny, you know, kind of like, uh, uh, you know, uh, glossy look to indicate that those are the straps and even down here as you can see straps here and then this is a mat on the foot and the boots so overall it looks pretty silly but I guess you know it's part of the lore part of the world you know everything doesn't look as you you know good or realistic but it looks unique so as a collectible it's pretty cool looking now his articulation right off the back, you have nothing on the head, which is very bad downside. I kind of wish that um, McFarlane would have did this part here, and maybe it's because it would have cost too much. Maybe, I don't know. Or maybe because I'm trying to get this to... It's not... Okay, I know what's going on here. Because of this, it's not wanting to focus. So, let me move this out. Maybe because... You see? How quick that fixed. Because it was more expensive. But he should have done this piece here. Where it was all rubberized. Kind of like the way that the rubberized was in the other figure. And that this part here was connected to, you know, the ball joint. And then you could move it. So that you could have some range of movement and this would move as a plastic rubberized piece. Either left or right and down and up at least. Uh, and he didn't do that. I don't know if it's because in the design of the game, they're more, more like a metal piece, one solid piece, and they don't move. And not even, and they're supposed to be like that, like a static look. I don't know, but if it isn't, i much rather yeah went that route. Now as far as the arms, they got the... Butterfly joint right there. Obviously. Then he has this part, which is the shoulder piece, which is on a separate part piece here. With it's connected to the uh, bicep swivel. It does have double hinge elbows. That goes that much because this and this hit each other. And then the ball joint that goes in and out. Or left and right, as you see. And the torso, the top moves very well. And then he has a waist swivel. Then you could put this this way. And you can tilt them that way for some attitude. Then you can hyper extend them back this much. And you can make them look down forward that much. Then this piece here is nice and kind of soft, not too hard, not doesn't seem to be hindering too much. As you can see, you see the pants there. So when you lift, it'll do the Van Damme split. 
and this kind of rides itself up because it's a separate piece and then he has some he has some turning there on the thigh swivel he has some thigh swivel on this side as well then he has obviously the double hinge kneecap and then you can move forward this much back that much he has the toe hinge that moves that much then you have left and right and then it does have a rocker as you can see and it is hindered a little bit by these two pieces here but these two pieces are very soft and pliable so i don't think it'll hurt when you're trying to pose them so you know as always the next step that we'll do is is we're going to put his accessories on and see what he looks like with his accessories And here we go. Here he is in all of his glory with all of his accessories. Beast mode. Rhino. And he looks pretty awesome, as you can see. Here is his, uh, you know, him with his, with his uh, harvester or ice pick, as you will, to help. Here is him with his bazooka in his shoulder. I try to put it. On the second one instead of that one because it doesn't hold right with that one. And here is what the backpack, motor backpack looks like. And here are those exhaust pipes that I told you that go connected to his suit. That finish out what the suit supposed to look like. Or the armor, if you will. And, uh, you know, he looks pretty cool. He definitely looks like a, a uh, mechanical robot that perhaps you may not want to upset right you may not want to upset because if you do you are asking for a lot of trouble so here we have him in all of his glory I'll do a quick turnaround so you guys can see him better as you can see there, I need to get a turntable, but that's besides the point. That's another issue in and of itself. Uh, you know, you work with what you can. You work with what you can. Have this there. So there's Beast Mode, right? Beast Mode Rhino. Now let's take a quick look at Beast Mode Jackal. And here we are, Beast Mode Jacko, in all of his glory with everything he has to offer. So, you have him standing. Here's his box. Comes with the accessories. Now, let's take an in depth look at his accessories. So, here we go. They kind of have similar parts, but with actual different color and deco here is this backpack that looks like again a motor engine but this time with the yellow the silver gray or uh, chrome with the pouches in that uh, what you call it in that navy blue leather with the weathering on it and straps and some type of prints here almost looks like brown prints of spots then he has the two exhaust pipes that are part of his outfit obviously that you attach to the back of his suit or his armor rather and then of course we have his harvester as you can see there it is a chainsaw with a I forgot what it's called the uh, Spartans used to wear on top of it on the helmet with that looks like uh, feathers and stuff and then it has the two exhaust pipes coming out 
and also the spring shocks of of like a car shocks and then the the handle is black and painted really nice and then the silver gray for the tip which looks like again either it's a wrench the tip of a wrench or you put the piece on it to <laughs> unscrew stuff or it's a piston I'm not sure like a uh, one of those pieces that you put in, I forgot what they're called. It's painted really nice with orange. Orange there. And that yellowy orange on this. And then the silver chrome on all this gunmetal silver. And then his last but not least is his, is his weapon of... of Armory, which is like you know, based off bullets and stuff, obviously, is this machine gun, which looks really unique, really crazy. Looks like something out of the Aliens movie, all in gunmetal silver, really painted nice, with a dark money green, military green as well. On these panels, the top, side part, and the handle here, right there, and then this is gunmetal silver. It's kind of dark, so it may not come off very well on the video but it's trust me it's a darker green really nice really really cool looks pretty badass so if you guys are you know interested in, in, in anything like this that has more heavy armor like a character he definitely brings it so let's check out Beast Mode Jackal. And here he is, Beast Mode Jackal once again, standing on his display stand, which I told you guys comes with all of them. As you can see, same round with the Fortnite logo and the two peg holes. Uh, really nice that at least they throw that in there, um, even though some people find no use for it. And here is Jackal, more up close and personal. And again, as you can see, he shares a lot of parts. He is basically probably 90% the same uh, as uh, Beast Mode, um, you know, Rhino. With the exception, obviously, of the face. It looks uh, different sculpt. It's a newly designed different sculpt, as you can see. Um, he looks like he's snarling or laughing, kind of the way jackals do, with his eyes squinted and his nose there, with the browns and blacks. Also, again, the uh, on the helmet with the feathery, orangey feathers. Here goes the back. He looks very Cyraxy in the back. His number, though, with his motif is Q Q seven or Q. Yeah, Q7. Then he has the, the, the print of jackals on the side. Also on this side, on the glove and the gauntlet. And it says Q7. This plate in the back. The two nubs in the front with the plate in the front as well in the crotch area. The whole plate, like the skirt. Um, with what looks to be a little weathering too of, 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 of uh, rust pants are the same exact thing the gauntlets are the same exact thing and so are the boots just like mr beast mode rhino only thing different is the head skull the patterns on the uh, plates obviously the color of the armory so and then two of the accessories so i mean maybe not enough to warrant a purchase for some of you but I guess he would be the yin to the yang, you know, to the yin to Mr. Beast Mode, um, you know, uh, what you call it, Rhino, which would be the yang. And they look cool, they dope. Now the accessories, same thing, you can't move nothing in the head, which is a shame. I strongly feel this should have been pl a rubbery plastic. But as far as the arms, they go up that much has the butterflies you can see 
this swivels here bicep swivel and then the arm does go all the way around with no hinderness the double elbow double elbow joint then the hinge obviously in the hand as you can see there it's a little bit off center because it's a bald hinge so you got to kind of straighten it out oh i'm sorry it goes forward this way back that way then left and right torso area again good range of movement in the torso you see then he has a waist swivel then of course he has tilt tilt for attitude he moves forward this much and he hyper extends back that much now these for some reason the skirt pieces are harder than the blue one with beast mode rhino but you can still get the split it just feels like you might detach one of these with the from the, the piece that's holding it maybe with the glue or whatever but it's there still do it and plus it's a separate piece then he has the die swivel on both sides like so not a lot but a little give you a little bit of wedge and wiggle and then double hinged knees and then again forward with this much backward that much the toe hinge then left and right and then they have the rockers as you can see so nothing too drastic nothing too uh spectacular and difference but uh you know definitely a nice addition definitely a nice addition to the Fortnite shelf collection and character selection now they got a lot of these more crazier obscure looking characters so now let's look at him with his accessories and here we are him with all of his weapons and accessories and all of his glory and again I must say he looks pretty cool he looks pretty pretty cool pretty rad and as you can see there he has his Gatling gun here on the side I don't know how much he can hold it that way or forward that way uh, there is no real way that you can hold it um, with uh, two hands I think because it doesn't have like a handle that stands out and then obviously he has his chainsaw harvester or aka pickaxe now these figures are new so you know it's kind of hard to keep the weapons on as you can see then you turn him around and he has his motor backpack with the two stack pipes exhaust that come out of his armor and he looks really cool I think he looks really cool so you know uh, the McFarlane Fortnite line is really starting to you know take off in a big way he has a lot of content and character selections already available uh, your, the, the library is growing really rapidly really fast which is kind of weird because you don't see that anymore uh, lately in these day and age with, with collectible figures uh, and lines um, so he's really hitting it out the park and I think Jazzwar is doing the same thing in their scale and their size and their end of you know uh, of selection so let's take a quick look at both of them together and you know we'll finish the review there as I come to a close and here you have it guys beast mode rhino beast mode jackal and all of their glory overall very fun figures even though they share a lot of the same parts very unique uh, obviously the McFarlane line is hitting on all cylinders adding a lot of unique and diverse different characters and these two guys are very unique in their own right and I mean they should fit very well uh, unless of course you don't like figures that are more like uh, you know armored robotic style but if you don't and you like this the, you know just the sheer pleasure 
and uniqueness of them being, you know, unique and different. Uh, you know, with the exception that their heads don't move. Uh, I think for what you're paying for, the accessories, the paint job, the stands, the details, the coloring, uh, and the articulation that these figures offer at the price point of $24.99, I think you're getting more than enough bang for your buck. And you can't really ask for anything more. Uh, so, you know, it's all up to you. Uh, if you guys want to get them, check your local game stops. That's what they're starting to hit. Maybe check Amazon. I'm pretty sure they probably have an Amazon. And, uh, you know, good luck hunting for them. So just for fun, what I'll do is I'll add in the uh, Scorpion for McFarlane also from Mortal Kombat 3. I'll put him next to Beast Mode Rhino because he's blue and he's yellow. And then I'll put in uh, McFarlane toy, well, McFarlane collectibles, Sub Zero, next to uh, your boy here, uh, Beast Mode Jackal, because he's yellow and he's blue, just for that contrast. And they look really nice in scale. They look like they scale pretty decent. And high, I mean, these look a little higher because I have them in the higher red stands. But it is all McFarlane. It's all 7-inch scale. So, there you have it, guys. Let me know what you think. I hope you like my unboxings for slash review of these two figures. Latest in the Fortnite series. Uh, the McFarlane Collectibles 7-inch scale Fortnite Beast Mode. Uh, Rhino and Beast Mode Jackal from the Fortnite series. Uh, leave a like, which is a thumbs up. Leave a dislike, which is a thumbs down. And let me know what you guys think down in the comments of these two figures. If you're planning to add them onto your collection or not. If you're looking forward to them. Or if you don't have any intentions of picking them up. Just like I always tell you guys. Share this video with someone you think might enjoy it. It would mean a lot to me. And as always, if you guys ever want to help me out in any way, shape, or form as a content influencer and provider, uh, you can. It's all down in the description down below. Uh, but remember, it's from your heart. You don't have to. It's only if you choose to. The same way I will be doing a brand new Patreon uh, as well um, to try to further... Uh, extend my my channel for the future and hopefully you guys will understand come for the ride and help me with that as well uh, so again thanks again guys hope you like the review love you very much and as always I appreciate you coming here and showing me your love and support until the next one see you then bye bye